Hello everyone, uh, the master here again, and today I'm going to be making a mob trap, or a mob farm, I guess, an experience farm, an experience trap, I don't know what the hell to call it, but, um, anyway, I need some signs, apparently I don't have any signs, um, but I need a lot of signs for this, and I'm also going to need this water, and probably another stack of cobble would do me nice. So just take this. Oh, there's some signs. Totally forgot I put those in there. And uh, make some more signs. Do do. Just make like six more. I love that you get three signs now. Oh, and uh, again, here, let me just turn this down just to not be obnoxious. Damn it. Anyway. I need to figure out where exactly the mob or er, spawner is, and I'm going to set up a nice trap. So I uh, just drop down, take the damage, don't care. And uh, this does annoy me. Tempted, but um, that'll just waste resources. Anyway, I'm going to connect. Don't know why I have that there. Anyway, um, the chests will just be an issue. And I probably want to mine this down at least one layer. So uh, I'm going to... Yeah, yeah, I'll just do that now. And um, yeah, just prepare the area very nicely. Oh, wait, since I'm going to make this a how-to video, I'm actually going to be professional about it. And I am not going to show me digging this out. I'll just show the final product. Alright, now uh, mob spawners are active in a range of 3x8x8s, um, being the radius centered on this, so I suggest digging it out so that it will be 9 with that in the center. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and basically just 4 in each direction, skipping the spawner, sort of. Just like 4 out from the spawner in on every side. So... That makes four, and over here, one, two, three, four. And um, if you're like me and you're in a cave, then yeah, you'll need to build up a new wall to hold them in. So um, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to dig out this entire space, and then, you know, I'll be back, because I'm being professional. All right. Now, um, once you've secured this area going four out in every direction and put up uh, walls, obviously you'll want that. Um, what you're going to want to do is come one from the end, whichever end you feel like piping all the mobs to. Um, and you're going to come in one from the end and dig down two. Now, I'm not going to just hop down there right now. And um, that'll be where the mobs will eventually go and uh, I'm just gonna dig this out in an effort to make sure these stupid skeletons now um here's the problem with using skeletons as a mob spawner or in a mob spawner is that um, they have a tendency to fight each other um, and that can be a problem oh and then you'll wanna place your water just like I am and that'll create all of these well, I mean, except the N2, will act as infinite water sources. And they all push exactly to this line. And then the mob will drop down here. And then you put water in each of these two holes. But um, actually, what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to go like that, just because I really don't trust these mobs at all. Uh, in fact, it might be safest to go something like this. Except I'm not sure this, if this will work at all. Never tried this. I'm just thinking like, how can I stop these mobs from killing each other and screwing up the spawner? Because if they hit each other once for this spawner, um, you know, they're going to mess it up and then you won't be able to hit them because they'll die on impact when they fall. Ah. Uh, so anyway, is this going to work? See you in a second. Uh, sort of. 
it, it kind of works. Need to put another source somewhere around there. Well, no, I can't. So this really doesn't work too well. Uh, well, actually, I can just take these out and move them in one. So, yeah. Don't dig out anything. Just uh, move it in like that. And then, yep, that'll push all your mobs into this line. And then this is going to be where you start to send them all upward. Uh, so you'll be digging a lot here. And um, anyway, what you're going to want to do is get a lot of signs or ladders or whatever you feel like using. And um, let me think about how exactly I want to put this. Um, yeah, I'll put it like that. And, well, I mean, I really don't want to start it here. So, put it like that, and like that. Okay, so, anyway, um, well, shit. That's not quite going to work with this placement of water. Um, and I don't want to want to rely on the mobs to do anything because I don't trust them to do shit. So um, actually what you're going to want to do is dig one down because the mobs will clearly, well, yeah, it should work fine. No hassle. Uh, you'll want to dig one down and um, come in one, obviously. And I will have it here and here. And then you start putting the water buckets in a very simple fashion, which I will show you in a moment. Well, actually, whoops. I'm stupid and just disobeyed my own idea that I was going to use. Um, anyway. Yeah. You know what? I'm going to go get some more water. That will be back in just a moment. Well, actually, no. I'm just going to show this bit. And then hopefully you'll understand what I'm going to do once I get some water to make this all easy to understand. And the reason I came out one is for that block so that it doesn't flow out and mess up all the water currents. So I'm going to go up there and I'll be back in just a second with more water. Okay, now um, what you're going to want to do with these signs here, um, the reason why you have them in a pattern like this so that you can put the water just like that and uh, well actually for now I think I'm going to come over like here-ish well I mean I can't actually do that but um, I need to make another infinite water source just so that I don't have to war bleh, run through all that just to get some water so here's gonna be my new infinite source of water there we go get some water um, well, I'm going to need to go like that now. But, um, anyway, this will be covered up when I'm finished, because otherwise mobs will just, you know, it won't work. Um, so anyway, because I'm only using two buckets, uh, probably not the best method of doing this is just going like this, but, um, this method works, and that's what I'm doing for now. Anyway, what you're going to want to do is send them up pretty darn high and they need to take a 21 block fall and then they will die in one hit from um, just a bare hand. Anyway, I need more signs. Uh, I need a lot more signs because I wasn't thinking about how many I would actually need for this bit. So um, I'll be back in a moment, I'll go up, I'll make more signs, and then that'll be that, I guess. Not sure how much further it is to the surface, it's probably not too much. No, I just heard grass, well, dirt, which probably means surface. Okay, this one will mean surface. And there we go, out on the surface with a nice pissed off spider to boot gonna come up here make some more signs um, actually I need that on damn it stupid thing but um, as I very slowly come up my own water not even elevator but uh, how did you stay there pissed off all night 
or is it turning night? I don't know what time of day it is anymore. But um, anyway, what I need here are more signs. So I'm going to get a lot more signs, and then I'm going to go back there because I want to make this tutorial shorter. All right, guys. And anyway, what you're going to want to do is just continue that pattern I uh, demonstrated earlier and go up a really long way. Uh, basically, just go up 21 blocks past um, wherever you want your dropping area to be. Like um, where you kill the mobs and then collect their stuff. And for me, I'm going to be going insanely high for pretty much no reason. Um, I just prefer to have them all on the surface. So um, I'm going to be going up 21 above the surface. So I've got a lot ahead of me. And I'm just going to continue this up, and then I'll come back when that whole section, well, this whole section is complete. Alright, now, um, once you've made it 21 blocks above where you want to drop them from, oh, wow, I don't know if you guys can see this, this is a really weird lighting thing where it's like pulsing out. Anyway, you want to make a second pillar that's also going to be, you know, two by the one, yeah. And just make it wherever you want it, basically, just in a straight line if possible, because, you know, that'll just make life easier and skeletons are less likely to kill each other. Uh, so anyway, yeah, once again, make sure that you're 21 blocks above, because if you're not, you know, it's not going to work right. Uh, I'm just going to remove that for now, because it just kind of makes this whole place a death trap. And just put finishing touches on this thing uh, now I do need to block off this side with cobble underneath the glass so I'm just gonna do that right now um, this is just to make sure whoa make sure the mobs don't have contact with sunlight at any point because um, sunlight will damage them I just like to have this so that I have a nice area I can look up and see all my mobs go by. Uh, just really a thing of preference. It's not necessary by any means. Um, toss that there. And uh, this is about it. And then you just have to put a final sign to block the water. And uh, I just like the torches here so that I can come up here and not worry about mobs spawning as I make it. And there you go. And it'll have a nice 21 block drop that I do not want to take right now, but I totally could survive. Well, for the sake of demonstration, there you go. Anyway, that's a perfectly survivable drop for mobs. It will leave them with one hit left. And um, then you just want to block this off. I just use glass because I like the look. And again, make sure to get rid of any possible places where sunlight might get in. And um, then I'm going to go down and I'm going to turn it on and close off the whole place. And uh, at some point I'll add, you know, like a door and shit to this area. Well, actually, I want to have the ceiling up there, so I just messed up my own ceiling, but whatever. And I pretty much ran out of cobblestone, jeez. Uh, I have more cobblestone inside, but um, anyway, that's about it. Now I'm going to come back, and this will be finished, and then I'll go down and turn it on, and then you guys can see this thing at work. Aha! Guys, I just saw Pigman. He came out. So, uh, that myth slash information that someone told me about pigmen spawning from spawners, totally true. I, <laughs> it's completely wrong. I thought it just glitched, but, um, nope, that's, that's intended. So, anyway, what was I, was I doing again? Oh, right. I finished up that room. Here, I'll make a quick door. Uh, well, it needs to be an iron door, really. So, just make me a nice iron door. And wood pressure, no, because then items will trigger it. And I don't think I have any real stone, do I? Nope, I don't. 
So anyway, I'm gonna toss this in the old smelter. Eight. There we go. Let's make life nice and easy. Um, but anyway, now I'm gonna go activate it. And oh my god, it's nighttime. Actually, I should go take a nap. Uh, just because there are mobs everywhere. Damn it! Monsters nearby. Gotta go kill this guy. I'm trying not to aggro all the monsters because I'm on hard, so, you know, shit ton of monsters. Yeah, there we go. And do to do, 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 sleepy sleep. Okay, Enderman warping around and everything's burning and bullshit and no one cares. And, oh wait, my stuff is probably at least partially done by now. Yep, done enough. So now I can make a plate. Or should I make two plates? Yeah, I'll do, well, no. Plate and a button. Because... You never know how paranoid you want to be about stuff like this. Well, actually, no. Mobs could wander inside, so... Actually, it makes more sense to have a button on the outside. And a plate on the inside. So, now I have to go downstairs here and activate this crap. So, whoops. I blocked that off. Er, no, that's, that's not even the right one. Uh, here it is. So I'll go in here. And I'll activate, well, okay, I have a lot of torches to remove. Yeah, yeah, there we go. Yeah. Yeah. Dang it, oh my god, moving slow in the water. See, I'm trying to also move semi quickly so that things don't start spawning on me as I remove it but I have a funny feeling they will just to smite me yeah there we go things are spawning and uh, they'll spawn as long as you're within 16 blocks of the spawner and uh, my trap is essentially just above the spawner so, shouldn't have any issues there. Now I'll just sit here, and I'll watch, and the skeleton will come up eventually. Of course, skeletons are stupid, and they like to punch each other. But there they go. Up my water slide. That one's like spinning out, doing its own thing. Doesn't even matter. So, yeah, this is one, well... It's a way to build a nice mob spawner um, that'll get you lots and lots of XP. I mean, of course, it's limited by the amount that mobs will spawn, but... Uh, okay, apparently one hit won't do it at 21 anymore. Um, one hit with a sword obviously will. <laughs> but uh, maybe it's 22 blocks and I was wrong. Totally possible. Let me just do this. see if that'll kill them or if it'll just provide one hit yeah okay so it's 22 blocks not 21 okay apparently it varies maybe it's 23 blocks and I was really wrong but um, anyway guys it, 21 blocks that's fine for me anyway even though I can probably you know go to 23 or whatever um, yeah, I think 23 might be the actual magical number. Alright, so actually I'm going to look this up just so you guys have the final information. And that'll be it. Alright guys, so turns out 23 blocks, not 21. So, yeah, I was wrong. Uh, maybe it was 21 before, maybe I was just always wrong. But um, anyway... It's 23 blocks. I'll see how long the video's been going. And then, you know, if I have time, I'll continue on as a normal series. Because, uh, you know, this is episode number 19 or whatever. I think I might be right. 
Um, so, yeah. Okay, I've been going for almost exactly 20 minutes. So, um, there's your information. Um, you know, at 21 blocks, it'll take two hits to kill them. Probably. Um, I mean, 21, it also factors in the fact that, um, you know, skeletons are completely retarded and they like to hit each other. So, yeah, this will take care of them hitting each other. And uh, they'll still survive after one hit to each other. Uh, so, yeah, guys. My name is the Master P. I was completely wrong. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Um, you know, subscribe if you haven't. Or, I mean, subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. Uh, like. And leave a comment down below. Tell me, you know, anything. But I am pretty retarded for messing something like that up. And, you know, I'm sorry about that if any of you made it 21 as I did. But, uh, you know, 21's fine in my mind. So, hope you enjoyed the episode. And I'll see you guys later.